Hello friends and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified of new uploads. In this video, we will be learning how to turn your desktop or laptop into a security guard or some kind of a home security system. We will begin by ensuring that uh, our power settings are in order. So how do you do that? You can, in your window search field, you can type for power settings. And then when you do that, you will come, you will be able to open this um, settings window, which is which has this power and sleep uh, sections over here. So you will type power settings, and then just, you'll be able to find this. And then once you get to this, um, since you are intending to use your desktop or laptop as a home security system, then the intention is for the desktop or laptop to keep on running 24-7, right? So if you want to do that, then in this settings um, window, you will search, I mean, you will choose here when plugged in, turn off after, then you will choose never. Scroll down and then you will see never actually. Okay. See, never. So you will choose that. I will not, but I, I just did for illustration. And then here, sleep. When plugged in, PC goes to sleep after. You can also choose never. It's somewhere at the bottom. Okay, that's the first thing you will do. Once that is in place, you will now download an application. Now, uh, again, for those who are just watching this right now in the middle of, uh, you haven't um, watched this from the very beginning, the, this video is will show you how to use your PC or laptop as a home security system using the built-in webcam of your, of your device. Okay, so there are a couple of freeware web uh webcam applications out there and just for illustration we'll be using this one called your cam y-a-w-c-a-m which means yet another webcam so you can google this your cam whatever however you want to pronounce it and then you can it's just one of many free uh webcam applications out there which you can use for this purpose so when you you can easily Google it and then download it, and then you can easily also install it. Okay, once you install it, in my case, I've already installed it. You will um, launch the Yorka. Again, we had shown you that the first thing we did was to go to the power settings to make sure that your PC or laptop is 24-7 up, it will not go to sleep, it will not um, turn off, you know, like after a period of inactivity. So once you've installed, downloaded and installed your cam, you can, you can launch it by double clicking that shortcut. And instantly what will happen is that um, it will launch uh, two things. One is, a console. I don't know if you call it console. There, there are two tabs to it. One is a control panel. The other one is called console. Okay, and then it also launches a preview window of what the webcam, your webcam is seeing. Okay, just here. Okay, so that's what you see. The next thing you will do is you will go to settings. In my case, uh, I've already done the necessary settings, but for your case, the first thing you will do after launching this for the first time, actually, actually the preview will not show anything. What you will do is you go to settings, settings menu, and then device, devices, and then you can say change to, okay, settings, device and then change to what you're doing here is you're trying to set or specify which webcam you wanted to use for this purpose 
Okay, so in my case, I've already specified it. It is uh, this one called USB 2.0. Okay, after you've set that, it will be there. And then you will, once you've set it, and that will come after this there, then you will see a preview of your video, which is you are seeing right now. Okay. Also, once you, after you install this YoCam, there will be a readme, a short readme file there in case you want to. Uh, you have some basic questions about the application, but otherwise the application is very much user friendly, easy to use. Okay, so that's the first thing you did settings. And then device and then change to and then you select which one of these is your webcam. And then once you do that, you will see a preview of what the webcam is seeing, which is what you're seeing right now. Okay. And then you can also have the preference or the option to save or output whatever is uh, captured by the video cam, by the webcam into some file. Okay, that's also in the here settings and then file. You can enable, uh, you can enable that and then you can even um, specify. But before going to that, the more important thing now is actually to see that this is working, okay? So what you do next is you go to the window menu here one here this is the window menu you click on that and then you click on motion detection okay so if you notice if you look at the preview pane right now uh, you see some blue things going on you see a coloration of blue that is um, the effect of motion detection. The AI or the software is detecting motion. Now, remember this, this application we're using is a freeware, it's a free one. So you don't expect it to be um, performing like a Ferrari, you know, because it's free after all. So, but anyway, it will do um, the, the basic thing that we expect it to do, okay? So, Motion detection is, is now on. And then next is, let me just check. You can go to the control panel. Let me just check where is the control. Control panel, go back here. So I'll go to the control panel, okay. And then I will make sure that motion is enabled. Okay, see, we're in control panel, you click Beside motion, I'm pointing at it. You click on enable. And instantly it enables motion detection by the webcam. As um, by the webcam working hand in hand with this your cam application. So with that, the next thing we can do is now to test if this motion detection thing is working as expected. Okay, because we already enabled motion detection. Okay, uh, I'll make some, see, when I make movements with my hand or with any part of my body, um, it is, I hope you could hear that sound, which is audible, and it is a default uh, WAV or WAV file being played by the application once a motion is detected, right? Okay, so, uh, if you can imagine, it doesn't take much effort to replace uh, the audio file with something if you want something louder. So again, the intention here is to develop, to have a basic functional home security system, making use of your desktop or laptop Windows device. And with the use of its built-in webcam, whenever your application, the YoCam is it's launched and you have did the you did the proper settings, the initial settings we've done, the minimal ones. It will be able to work as expected, which is once the webcam detects some movement, uh, which is being captured by the webcam, then it will play an audible sound, uh, wave file, uh, an audio file, and it's up to you to adjust the volume as you wish, and then. If you want something louder, a different kind of audio file that you want to play, 
once motion is detected, then it's really up to you. It's very easy to figure this, I mean, to configure this. Okay, so again, I will test movement and then it plays an audible sound right there. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we have been able to show you in this video um, a working home security system which is very much easy to set up. We, first is we set up the power settings to make sure the, the machine, your desktop or laptop is up and running 24 seven. That is by typing power settings in the Windows search field. Second thing we did was to download and install your cam, Y-A-W-C-A-M. But you're not constrained by this. You can um, Google and as you wish, check out and pick some other um, similar applications which are free, free downloadable. Once I've downloaded and installed it, I launched it and then did some minimal settings such as this one, motion, I set to enable. Once you click enable, it becomes, it, the button is showing as disabled. Okay, with those minimal settings that we've done, uh, you see the preview, you adjust your camera accordingly, the webcam, and then you can test it. Um, as you can see, when you make those movements, then it will play that audible sound. So uh, since again, it's a freeware, it may not be performing um, like uh, a high-end kind of application, but you can easily mm, choose a different one as, as soon as you get, a, get to a comfort level of using this application and having an understanding of the concept of how it works. Okay, there you have it. I hope something you have been learning in this video, I will disable this and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, thanks.